Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick, and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Do you remember what happened on Friday and where the hell we are today? Well, on Friday we uh, covered Jeremiah chapter 50. We sure as fuck did. And in that chapter, uh, God was going on and on and on about how Babylon sucks and he's going to, you know, demise them, fuck them up, kill them, murder them, you know, all the bad shit that you that God does to everybody, yes, all the fucking time, yes, and uh, and we were questioning like, hey, God, you know, like you were using these fuckers as a tool, mm-hmm. and so why all the vengeance? Why all the the mean shit? Like and, we knew it was coming, and it's even so, it's still like really though. Yeah, it just the way God uses people and then like abuses them after the fact Mm -hmm. is really just complete and utter bullshit. It really is. Like he's all happy to use Babylon as a tool, as a weapon, as Mm -hmm. a whatever to serve his purpose. Right. Sure, sure. And obviously because we're talking into the, the in Canon and Mm -hmm. we're talking in the Bible, Mm -hmm. he is controlling or at least influencing these people to do his bidding. Right. Or allowing them to and encouraging them. Sure, sure. Whatever the case may be, he is utilizing them as a tool, quote Mm -hmm. unquote. His own words. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't understand the need for all the vengeance at the end of it. Right. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. It feels like he could just as easily make them a tool to go scatter themselves to the winds. Right. You know, like, I mean... You're God. You have all the power. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Apparently, mm-hmm. apparently, you like killing people. Yeah, that's the what. That's what I take from it. That's, that's that's what I gather. Seems to have been the case through the whole Bible, though. So. It really does, mm-hmm. and it, that that's one of those things that just constantly disturbs me mm-hmm. about this God, about this Bible, about these words that He uses. Mm-hmm. So. Anyway, that was Jeremiah chapter 50. Sure as fuck was. Which means that today we're getting into... Jeremiah chapter 51. And I think you have some a uh, little aside here as to where we are oh, in the Bible like real quick. an apology? May- maybe an apology, but at least a <laughs> clarification. Okay, clarification and apology. Sure, sure. Um, for some reason, I thought that 51 was the final chapter of Jeremiah, but it turns out that... There are 52 chapters. 52. 52. 52, like a deck of cards. Right, right. So tomorrow, Tuesday, we will be doing Jeremiah chapter 52. And then then doing all the special Our Q&A and then our Jeremiah ramp up and then our you're always wrong. Which actually makes our week work perfect because it it gets us to Friday Mm -hmm. with everything that we need to do this week. So, yeah. um, And I think we're going to be doing this one in the same vein that we've been doing the rest of them last week Mm -hmm. um, and just reading it without previously taking notes notes because we're going to, these are long chapters. They're really involved with like all this country vengeance bullshit Mm -hmm. so we're gonna read through and then we'll get to the notes on uh let's see that will be wednesday at this point so all right so we're heading into jeremiah chapter 50 one 51 51 (laughs) sorry that was my bad um and yeah you ready to do this yes all right let's do this okie dokie All right, Jeremiah, chapter 51. Okay. Thus says the Lord. Does he now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Behold! Oh, okay. Are you beholding? I'm beholding. I will raise up against Babylon. We're Ag- still on Babylon? Yes. Oh, my God. Against those who dwell in Leb Kamai, yeah. a destroying wind. And, moreover, More, and yeah. okay. I will send winnowers to Babylon who shall winnow her and empty her land. What is winnow? Winnow? Winnowers? Like if you winnow something down, you oh, like, yeah. take it little by little okay, okay. until it's nothing. It's just a weird way to use that word, yeah, like yeah. winnowers. Like, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. I, I would I would call them more like uh, killers, murderers. Yeah, but maybe or even like you know, what is like thieves, right? Like they just come in and like yeah. steal your goods and shit. I, I don't know. Yeah, but it's a weird way to use that word. No, I, I feel totally like, agree. So, yeah. I totally agree. For in the day of doom, they shall be against all her. Oh, I read that wrong. They shall be against her all around. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Against her, let the archer bend his bow and lift himself up against her in his armor. Do not spare her young men. Utterly destroy all her army. That's the loving God we know and love. <laughs> Thus, the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and those thrust through in her streets. Jesus. I love me this some thrusting. This is very thrusting. violent. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't you love thrusting? I, not, no. <laughs> not like this. Nope. No, no. <laughs> For Israel is not forsaken, nor Judah, by his God, the Lord of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel... Okay. Yeah. Israel and Judah, they they're, still, they're not. He still loves them, even though they're they the best. Fucked up royally. Of all the asshole humans on the planet, they're the best ones. They're the best. Yeah. Flee from the midst of Babylon, and everyone save his life. Do not be cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. I still, I still struggle with this idea that you can flee God's vengeance, right? Mm -hmm. Like you are, you are wrong and bad because you're a Babylonian in his eyes, right? Mm -hmm. And yet, if you flee, you can save yourself. Because why? You, <laughs> you're still a Babylonian. Like, why do you get to flee and save like, yourself? Honestly, why are you giving them a heads up that you're coming? Right. There's that too. Like, I'm giving you a heads up. Go ahead and flee if you want. Yeah. Because I'm coming to kill you. Yeah. Still. Right. In the next chapter. Yeah. He shall recompense her. And let's let's talk about the Lord's vengeance. I'm still never going to be okay with he's vengeful. Right. Like, that is a negative. That's a, a naughty word that we, we try not to be vengeful. Right. Right. Yeah. That, that's ugly behavior. Right. I would think that most, quote unquote, good Christians would say that that's not a good trait. That's you what know, I would that, think. I, that based on my, you know naive understanding of what Christianity was prior to reading doing this, this podcast, book. you know, yeah. like, but what Christians claim is love and, you know, forgiveness and all these things. Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. my idea of what a Christian quote unquote, a Christian would be, mm -hmm. would be not for vengeance. It would be the exact opposite of yeah. vengeance. So it, it really strikes me as counter to the whole idea of Christianity, what God stands for through mm -hmm. most of the old Testament. Yeah. Oh. It's really just weird. It's very weird. And I don't love it. N no. <laughs> no. Nope. Babylon was a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunk. That's great poetry, though. Yeah. That's yeah. great imagery. Right. The nations drank her wine. Therefore, the nations are deranged. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Like. She influenced everybody else. Um, they enjoyed her goods. Right. And so. Well, they seemed, as far as conquerors go back in those days, they mm -hmm. seemed pretty forgiving with regard to, like, if you let them conquer you. Yeah. They let you live and they let you carry on. Yeah. For the most part. Just call us your boss you know? and give us our tithe and tax. And right. We'll, and you're good to go. Yeah. We, we, just, can, we just want this place and we want to call it ours. So. Yeah. We just want to put our flag on it. Yeah. That's fine. Right. They they weren't like the old Israelites who yeah. literally destroyed people in in totality. And knocked over their buildings and Right. Yeah. Took their women, piled their, their fucking kids, animals in in piles in the middle of the city and danced in the blood of the babies. Right? Yeah. yeah. Babylon has suddenly fallen and been destroyed. Suddenly, this has been happening for years now. <laughs> <laughs> Wail for her, take balm for her pain. Perhaps she may be healed. Perhaps. Perhaps. Do you know God? <laughs> Do you have the answer, God? I, I think that no. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone to his own country. We would have healed ha Babylon, but she is not healed. 
we we would have healed her. What what does we would have entail? How did you try? <laughs> but we decided not to. I, I don't know. <laughs> right, yeah. We're, maybe that's in a different book that I, we didn't maybe, get to read the copy. But it of. sounds awfully like that you wanted to kill a lot of them. So yeah. like, it doesn't really sound like healing. It sounds like murder. Yeah. Yeah. But and now you you're know. like everyone go back to your own house. This is like somebody that's stepping on you, saying. I tried to not hurt you. I mean, come on. Like, <laughs> it's not my fault you got in the way of my knife. Right. I only stabbed you 26 times. That 27th, that was on you. Right. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should have seen that one coming. Duh, asshole. <laughs> For her judgment reaches to heaven and is lifted up to the skies. The Lord has revealed our righteousness. Come. Come. And let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. Wee! Love me some good murder! Woohoo! Party on! Yeah. Right? I guess. I mean, that. Loving this God killing people for vengeance. They yeah! Just, they, you know, I didn't really get that they disliked the Babylonians this much. Me neither. The Israelites, that is. Yeah. Right? You know, like, yeah. it seemed like they had a. I mean, they were, they were going about their business, you know? Like, yeah. It's just there were certain people that weren't, but there were a lot of people who were. So. Yeah. Yeah. Make the arrows bright. Gather the shields. The Lord has raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes for his plan is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance for his temple. Uh, uh, cause okay. they destroyed his temple. Yeah. That, okay. that hurts. That, you, yeah. You, that hurts you destroy. Feelings. God's house, and you're you're fucked. He's going to kill you hard. That see, and this this, but this strikes me as there was no, there was no help for them. There was no right. recourse for them to um not get killed. Right. God was going to kill them, even though God was the one that made them destroy the temple and said yeah. for them to destroy the temple, and that was His plan to mm -hmm. begin with. Mm -hmm. So set up the standard on the walls of babylon make the guards strong set up the watchmen prepare the ambushes I'm going oh, to war babe sure yeah for the lord has both devised and done what he spoke against the inhabitants of babylon but he's still got to send some other people to do the work yes yes so O oh, you who dwell by many waters abundant in treasures your end has come the measure of your covetousness. Mm. What what were they coveting? I mean, they were taking over lots of lands. They were okay. probably stealing treasures from all these people. And, you know, I mean, the things you do as a conqueror, you're, yeah. you got to pay for your war campaign somehow, which sure. is usually through the spoils of war, right? Yeah, so that's true. The Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, surely I will fill you with men as with locusts, and they shall lift up a shout against you. He has made the earth by his power. He has established the world by his wisdom and stretched out the heaven by his understanding. Mm. When he utters his voice, his capital H, yeah, so, God, so God, yeah, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens. He causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings for the rain. He brings the wind out of his treasuries. He brings the wind out of his butt farts. <laughs> I mean, this is so asinine and nonsensical and childish. Right. Everyone is dull hearted without knowledge. You dull hearted, knowledgeless husband of mine. <laughs> wow. Just kidding. Love you. Yeah. Every metalsmith is put to shame by the carved image for his molded image is falsehood. And there is no breath in them. Cause, you know, because idols not real. again. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. They are futile, a work of errors. In the time of their punishment, they shall perish. Mm. The mm. portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the maker of all things. And Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Okay? But those people had the, the same fucking idol. That's why he destroyed them in the first place. Right. They had idols. They worshipped idols. Mm -hmm. They weren't following his word. They were doing the exact same fucking things that... The rest of these people in ancient times were doing. But he liked them and not the uh, others. Okay. Yeah. That's why they're the chosen ones. All right. Yeah. They're the Harry Potters. All right. They don't have to do jack shit. All right. All right. <laughs> you are my battle axe and weapons of war. For with you, I will break the nation in pieces. With you, I will destroy kingdoms. 
With you, I will break in pieces the horse and its rider. With you, I will break in pieces the chariot and its rider. With you also, I will break in pieces man and woman. With you, I will break in pieces old and young. With you, I will break in pieces the young man and the maiden. With you also, I will break in pieces the shepherd and his flock. Oh, my God. He's going to break a lot you, of pieces. I will break in pieces the farmer and his yoke of oxen. But I have a question, though. Is There's he going to no break more. him out a piece of that Kit Kat bar? He is. Okay. He is. All right. And with you, I will break in pieces governors and rulers and Kit Kat bars. <laughs> See? So, so it it's says in the, in the yeah, Bible. It's in the right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally. Uh, that is a lot of breaking shit. It really is. It really is. He's you know, like, I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna break those. Fuck this. Fuck that. Fuck right. these. Fuck all of the things over there. Yeah. Um, look, I'm not like a historian. Okay. Okay. So I, I'm I'm qualifying this statement that I'm about to make. Okay. But in all my studying of great conquerors mm -hmm. that I've done through my schooling, mm -hmm. I never recall ever hearing about Israel or you know, any, any Judah. yeah, or Judah being a great conqueror, right? There was never anything that was covered. Like, yes, I'm sure that they won some battles and that they no, they got their land back multiple times after we, being conquered. I was gonna but say what like, we know them for is being the downtrodden, right? They're the chosen people that always get screwed. Yeah, yeah, and and that that goes along with the man with a god like that. But but the way he's talking about the way that God in this book here is talking about the Israelites right yeah. now is that they are this great force that's going to topple, you know, all nations. these yeah, topple nations and, and stuff. And it's like, "Oh, you're so cute." And I'm like, that, that's not really what I know of history. Yeah. I mean, same thing. I'm not saying you guys didn't hold on to your little spot of land kind of okay for a bit. Right. But I mean, you're not like known as great conquerors either. So no. Because honestly, there's not a lot of you at right. this point. So you would think, though, that if God wanted to spread His word, He would have chosen better warriors. I mean, honestly, because He likes killing. He like, obviously likes yes, killing. Yes, yes. Like no offense to those little Israelite guys, right? But they clearly weren't the best warriors out there. No. Yeah. So yeah, He didn't necessarily choose. And look, wisely. I don't think you have to be a good, good warrior, great warrior, or anything to be a good person. No, me but, neither. But God seems to think that that is a admirable um, trait. Yeah, He so. seems to prefer um, warmongering over decent humanity. Right. So yeah. He chose wrong. Yeah. Right. And I will repay Babylon and all the inhabitants of Chaldea for all the evil they have done in Zion in your sight, says the Lord. Hmm. Behold, I am against you, O destroying mountain, who destroys all the earth, says the Lord. And I will stretch out my hand against you, roll you down from the rocks, and make you a burnt mountain. Yeah. I'm going to tell people when I get mad at them, I am going to push you down a mountain, and I'm going to make you a burnt mountain. Right. I'm going to push you down that hill. I'm going to roll you up. You're going to be a burnt mountain. So just just a, a, a curiosity here, because he's kind of talking about Israel being the ones that that take back their land in this this chapter, right? Uh huh. But it seems to me in the last chapter he was talking about a force from the north being the force that took over. Yeah. If I if I recall correctly, I thought that that's because you were like because I was like were they the further north? north? Yeah, because yeah. the Babylonians came from the north apparently. Right. Yeah. So like, where is north of there? I have no idea. But now it's the Israelites. The right? Israelites are getting big and strong again. I guess. So this seems like it's even two though, separate stories. Even though they're in Egypt now. Right. So <laughs> well, mean, a lot of them are. Yeah. 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 They shall not take from you a stone for a corner, nor a stone for a foundation, but you shall be desolate forever, says the Lord. Okay. Set up a banner in the land. Blow the trumpet among the nations. Burr, 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 burr. Prepare the nations against her. Call the kingdoms together against her. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm ready. Here go some nations we're Nation. calling. Yeah, okay. Ararat, Mini, and Ashkenaz. Appoint a general against her. Cause the horses to come up like bristling locusts. Wow. Bristling locusts. <laughs> That's interesting. Ooh, that reminds me. Have you? Did I already tell you this story? Have you heard that there are two, two different sets broods of, of cicadas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That are coming around. Sorry, cicadas. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, and so the Christians are all losing their shit oh, because Jesus. they're like, 
earthquakes and locusts and eclipse. <laughs> oh my! You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. But what's really cool about these um, two broods of locusts that are coming awake at the same time right. is that there's this fungus that's attacking them. And is that, it among us? It, it's going to be among them. Okay. And if it gets in the food chain, then it might be among us. Ah, okay. And scientists are not quite 100% positive how this fungus is going to impact the food chain hmm. because the two broods are coming together at the same time. That's a lot of fucking locusts. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And this, lo this, um, um, fungus we learned about, I don't know if it was like last year or the year before, very recent, like within the last few years, um, this fungus, the last time that, um, locusts came out. Yeah. So yeah. very recent. Right. Um, it basically is this like white powdery thing. Isn't it that, psychedelic even? Like a, yes. there's some psychedelic elements to it? Yes. And it makes them lose their junk. Right. And so their whole ass end falls off, but there's like they're not in pain because of the the fungus that like psychs their brain out. Right, right. And they don't die. They go around just trying to hump everything, hmm. and so they're still trying to fuck. Yeah. And mate, and but that's they can't. yeah. But that's how they spread it to each other. Oh. Yeah, because they're like, come here. I don't have a penis, and my guts are falling out, but I totally want to fuck you. So it's like psychedelic uh, cicada zombies. Yes. Wow. Because they are kind of zombies. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And only they're fuck zombies. <laughs> right. Instead of wanting to eat each other, <laughs> they just want to fuck each other. That would, you know, we talk about band names sometimes. Psychedelic uh, cicada zombies would be a great band or name. Psychedelic fuck zombies. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like the the first one better. But psychedelic this is me. Cicada, cicada zombies, zombies yeah. or locust zombies. No cicada. Okay. Cicada, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anytime I see the word locust, that's all I can think about is these zombie <clears throat> fucking um, cicadas. Right. Right. And honestly, I cannot wait. Even though, even though there is some question about how it will impact the food supply, even just at the lowest level. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So speaking of you, you mentioned uh, the end of the world and all the signs and all these mm, things. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Yes, go right. On. Yeah. So um, we're still coming up on one of the next um, apocalyptic days, oh, yeah, which is yeah. April 23rd. That's right. Apparently, the numerologists amongst the crazy mm -hmm. um, think that that is going to be the next that that's when the apocalypse was actually going to happen, not during not during the, the, eclipse. the eclipse. It was supposed to be during the eclipse, but then it didn't happen. So they were like, "Just kidding! It's only coming up in a week or whatever." Right. I mean, we could totally have a like a whole podcast dedicated to like apocalypse watch. The next apocalypse, right? <laughs> yeah, like still not raptured. I that that should totally so, somebody out there needs to make that podcast. Yeah, yeah. I'll just call it apocalypse watch. Yeah, well, like I had um, texted my parents when. Um, Iran struck back at Israel yeah. um, this past weekend and was like, um, the fuck, you know? I, right. I didn't say the fuck. No, because yeah, yeah, yeah. My parents They're, are hardcore Christians and sure. I try not to. They don't like the cussy cussing. They really don't. So I try not to say that shit around them. So I was just like, wow, so that happened. And then my dad was like, yeah, straight out of the Bible. And I was like, <laughs> shooting bombs at each other, like um, the potential to hit a nuclear um facility like yeah those things are in the bible huh no it's all about israel and you know yeah it's all about israel i know yeah it's just but it's not so right, right let's right. stop with yeah, that no, that's I, bullshit right right like every time something happens to israel the people are like it's in the bible and i'm like my god they breathed they breathed is that in the bible they breathed. They moved. They walked. It's disturbing to me how much some of these people want these end time signs to actually be real. Well, of course they do because so. they believe that they're going to get raptured and go straight to heaven. Right. And meet Jesus and see all their dead relatives. Yeah. yeah. Like my mom. But that's what says, makes it disturbing. My mom says over and over she can't wait to see her daddy in heaven. Yeah. That's and I'm like, A, from what I've heard, I don't necessarily know that your daddy was a great guy. I don't know that he wasn't. Right. But, like, what makes you think he was going to heaven? Like, right. is that just written in stone? Like, my daddy's in heaven. Well, yeah. And then the other thing is that, but I thought that it was supposed to be that, like, when you're in heaven, that you don't give a shit about each other anymore or something like that. Oh, who fucking knows? There's not, there's no way to know. Like, even if heaven were real, there's no way for anybody to know what it's actually like. There, There's not been any, there's no... There's no proof of any of this. Right. So there's no accounting for what actually happened. It's all 
just people hypothesizing it's what's going to happen after so, they die. They're so excited to die. I'm like, how are you guys not walking out into traffic every day <laughs> hoping like, oh, I sure hope a car hits me because I can't commit suicide. That right. would be wrong. But if I just walk out into the street and a car hits me, that's not my fault. Right. right. If I just didn't look both ways before I crossed the street. Yeah. Just give it to God. You know, right. Jesus, take the wheel. I didn't buckle up today and I accidentally crashed into a fucking wall. Right. You know, right. like I just I, I kind of don't understand. How are you so excited to die? I got to be honest. I think that is the inherent doubt in the system. Yeah. That they don't admit to themselves. Right. Because otherwise, like, why? My parents are, you know, they're getting up there in age. Yeah. Why do you take your medications? Why do you go get your eyes checked? Why do you? Right. Why did you get all of your cancer things taken care of? Like, if you're so excited to die and meet your Jesus and your daddy in heaven. Yeah. Why don't you just let Jesus take care of you? Yeah. Like. And why, why is all that stuff okay, but the vaccination isn't? Like, right. No, none of it makes sense. <laughs> and none of it goes together. And, like, how is um, me saying that a person might have been born in the wrong body, how is that a slap in God's face when we're talking about gender things? But um, if, you know, a child needs glasses, like, that's not a slap in the God's face saying, oh, my God, Jesus really fucked up here. He really messed that kid's eyes up. Right. Or, like, people that are born um, with any kind of physical ailment, like, oh, man, God really fucked this one up. Like, we don't say that. That's, like, why is... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I could just go on and on forever. I yeah. get so mad about this shit. No, I, and I... So, like, you, you mentioned... Um, the getting mad about people born in the wrong bodies and stuff. And there's a lot of people out there. I, this is, this is, this isn't the exact right conversation, but it's one that I've had with people who don't understand trans or LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. um, they don't even know that there are people out there that are intersex, like that, uh, that, that have been born with both genitalia. Right. You know, like, and that's, they don't, they don't understand that the flaw can happen from birth. Like, right. You know, and that not I shouldn't say flaw. It's not a flaw. No, it's, it's not a flaw, but it's a perceived born. flaw by Christians. Right, right. And 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 then the doctor or the parents or both, they just choose for the baby right. which way it's going to go. And I've I've had I've had people who are religious stop and go, "Huh, I didn't know that." You know, and I'm not saying you're going to fix the world by bringing that up, but like there are a lot of people out there that just don't even know what they're talking about at all. Right. And it's like, so this kid was born with this thing. What do you do? Right. What do you do? Because God didn't make that mistake, right? God doesn't make mistakes. <laughs> right. Except for, you know, every person who was born with some kind of handicap or ailment. Sure. Yeah. You know, right. th those somehow aren't mistakes. But my God, you get between the legs and that is just an insult. Right. My arms. No. My eyes. No. My ears. No. My nose. No. no, those are challenges for you to overcome through yes, God, right? Yes, but no, if we start talking about your crotch, that is a mistake. Right. And you cannot say God made a mistake. And it's like, I wasn't, you were. That's why it's not a point of discussion with them. That's why they don't understand. That's why they don't even know that that exists. Right. Generally. I'm not saying always, but generally, yeah. they don't even know that that exists. Yeah. Well, that's because they're ignorant. And right. And I do not like that. No. No, sorry okay. that we we went we, way off okay the locusts there. yeah bristling locusts yeah that's how we got the there. horses the horses are going to be like bristling locusts yes apologies let's read this chapter <laughs> prepare against her the nations with the kings of the medes it is governors and all its rulers all the land of his dominion and the land will tremble and sorrow oh that's interesting they're using sorrow as a verb it will tremble and sorrow, okay. not have sorrow. Right, right. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah. For every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon to make the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitant. The mighty men of Babylon, mighty men, <laughs> mighty Morphin Power Rangers of Babylon have ceased fighting. They have remained in their strongholds. Their might has failed. Uh-oh. They became like women. Oh, my God. Does it really say that? It literally says they became oh, like women. I fucking hate the Bible. 
<laughs> oh, I hate it when men become like women. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> When men are like women, I mean, who wants to be like women? Oh, there's there's your argument. It says in the Bible, men become like women. Yeah. So mm. there you go. I mean, that's why they would see it as a mistake because who the fuck wants <laughs> to be like a woman? Those piece of shits. Um, just for the record. Yeah, then that's not uh, our I'm point a, of view. Right, I'm yeah. a woman. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I hate this book. They have burned her dwelling places. The bars of her gate are broken. One runner will run to meet another, and one messenger to meet another, to show the king of Babylon that his city is taken on all sides, because he can't see it from his castle, looking out afar, going, <laughs> fuck me, that's a lot of smoke, it's north, south, east, and west of right? me. Right, yeah. The passages are blocked, the reeds they have burned with fire, and the men of war are terrified. Mm. <laughs> crying like little girls. I mean, much like when Jerusalem was surrounded by men of war that were yeah. closing in on them. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, here's here's the thing, guys. Um, there is no shame in crying, whether you're a man or a woman. Right. And Let us all feel the feels. Let us all get in touch with our emotions and be able to name them. Wouldn't that be a thing? Right. If we didn't, like, make fun of men for crying yeah. or make fun of men for having more effeminate qualities like what is wrong with effeminate qualities i have them right. are you saying some shit about me do you want to say it to my fucking face <laughs> like <laughs> hello <laughs> for thus says the lord of hosts the god of israel the daughter of babylon is like a threshing floor when it is time to thresh her i, I hate oh, it when we damn. thresh her yeah yet a little while and the time of her harvest will come Ooh, they're going to harvest that bitch. They're going to harvest her so fucking hard. Mm. They're going to thrust and they're going to harvest. <laughs> Ow. Jesus. Yes. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, has devoured me. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> We're still in the time of Nebuchadnezzar? Apparently, because he devoured me. Okay. He ate me, baby. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, they, okay. Continue, because I'm, I'm curious, because it was supposed to be 70 years later before... You know the Israelites were going to come back, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So is this saying that he is destroyed? Okay, I'm confused. Do I look like a calendar? No, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Do I look like a Bible planner keeper? Right. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, has devoured me. <clears throat> he has crushed me. Yeah, he has. <laughs> he has made me an empty vessel. Okay. He has swallowed me up like a monster slurp. He has filled his stomach with my delicacies. <laughs> yeah. He has spit me out. <laughs> Turn your head now, baby. Just spit me out. What is that song? Uh, that is... Oh, my God. I cannot remember off the top of my head. Okay. Well, yeah. somebody knows. Right. Somebody out there is it's yelling like at right us right now. It's like right on the tip of my now. tongue. I, I know I know the song. I just... Let the violence done to me and my flesh be upon Babylon, the inhabitant of Zion will say. Will he? Or is it you saying that, God? Right. I feel like maybe the people would not quite be so shit-tastic if you were not, like, drumming them up. But right. then again, you don't exist, and they wrote this after, so never mind. They were just that shitty. Right. My bad. Yeah. And my blood be upon the inhabitants of Chaldea. Jerusalem will say. The, will the other Jerusalem's going to say? They're going to revel in all that blood. Okay. They love it. They mm -hmm. love the blood. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thus says the Lord, behold, I will plead your case and take vengeance for you. I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry. Bab He's going to hump them dry. <laughs> Babylon shall become a heap. A dwelling place for jackals, an astonishment, and a hissing. Uh, Hiss without I, an inhabitant. There are like there must be literally nowhere to live in this this part of the they're world. All, because they're all fucking dried up and uh, you know Yeah. The, every every single city, every single place at right, one point yeah. has been like nobody will ever live here again. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like this maybe all happened in like the Sahara Desert or something. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> They shall roar together like lions. They shall growl like lions' whelps. In their excitement, I will prepare their feasts. I will make them drunk that they may rejoice and sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake. Oh. Says the Lord. Oh, okay. 
He's going to knock he's them gonna, out. He's going to poison them. He's going to he's going to drug them. I guess. I will bring them down like lambs to the slaughter, like rams with male goats. Like rams with male okay. okay. What is it like rams with male goats? I I don't know. Do what do rams do to male goats? I would imagine rams are more powerful than male goats, so they probably destroy the they, male goats. They ram them to death. They ram them. Yeah. Okay. And then and then so the male goats are like, ow, and then they die. Yeah. I that's, think I think that's, that's I think that tracks maybe. Okay. I mean, again, I'm not an expert on goats. Yeah, or I don't rams. know anything about animals. Yeah. Things. But uh, I'm I'm guessing that's where they're going with that. Okay. So. Oh, how Shishesh is taken! Ah, oh, how the praise of the whole earth is seized! How Babylon has become desolate among the nations! The sea has come up over Babylon. She is covered with the multitude of its waves. Her cities are a desolation, a dry land and a wilderness. Wait, so how do the seas come up over a desolation and dry land? It's wet and dry. It's yeah. <laughs> it's wet and dry. It's whatever fits at any given moment mm -hmm. for a metaphor. Yeah. So yeah. okay. It's perfect and awful. Yeah. It's perfectly awful. Right. A land where no one dwells, through which no son of man passes. Well, if nobody goes there, then who cares what you do to it, honestly? <laughs> Go ahead, I guess. Right. I will punish Bel in Babylon, and I will bring out of his mouth what he has swallowed. No! Don't make him puke! <laughs> <laughs> that was a god, right, Bel? Um, I think so, yeah. Okay. And the nations shall not stream to him anymore. Yes, the wall of Babylon shall fall. My people go out of the midst of her and let everyone deliver himself from the fierce anger of the Lord. And lest your heart faint and you fear for the rumor that will be heard in the land, a rumor that will come one year. And after that, in another year, a rumor will come and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. That was parentheses voice. Okay. Therefore, behold, the days are coming that I will bring judgment on the carved images of Babylon. At least that's the rumor. And that's what I heard. <laughs> her whole land shall be ashamed and all her slain shall fall in her midst. But you just told them all to leave. So right. anybody who stays with all those rumors flying. You right. Know, yeah. Well, I mean, they, they told you he coming. So. Again, I, I still feel like this stuff is propaganda. Mm -hmm. Like, if you say, my God's going to destroy your God, and all of a sudden, you know, if you can make people af afraid enough to have some of them abandon their mm -hmm. their strongholds, right? Yeah. It's that much easier for you to come in and take over. So. And then you get to be like, see, told you. Right. So if you if you write good a good enough story that's, you know, a fearful, my God's going to destroy your God type thing. Yeah. And maybe back in these times, that worked, you know? Like, maybe that did get some people to flee and be like, I right. don't want to be part of this fucking war. I didn't pay to, I, I didn't sign up for this shit. That I'm just God a fucking farmer. Scary man. Yeah. Yeah. He is going to smite my ass. Right. I'm out. Then the heavens and the earth and all that is in them shall sing joyously over Babylon for the plunderers shall come to her from the North says the Lord from there's from, from the North, the north. again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. As Babylon has caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon the slain of all the earth shall fall. You who have escaped the sword, get away! Do not stand still. Remember the Lord afar off, and let Jerusalem come to your mind. We are ashamed because we have heard reproach. Shame has covered our faces. Shame, shame, right. shame. Yeah. For strangers have come into the sanctuaries of the Lord's house. Therefore, okay. behold... The days are coming, says the Lord, yeah. that I will bring judgment on her carved images, and throughout all her land the wounded shall groan. Oh my God, this is repetitive. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming to get you. I'm, I'm still, coming. I'm still mad about idols, too. I'm getting your idols. I'm getting your land. I'm getting your buildings. I'm getting your people. Right. I'm a coming. Yeah. Though Babylon were to mount up to heaven, and though she were to fortify the height of her strength, yet from me plunderers would come to her, says the Lord. So basically saying this city can't climb the, high enough to right, get away from yeah. the shit I'm sending. Sure. The sound of a cry comes from Babylon and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans because the Lord is plundering Babylon and silencing her loud voice. 
though her waves roar like great waters and the noise of their voice is uttered because the plunderer comes against her, against Babylon, and her mighty men are taken. You know, this reminds me of when I was reading um, Beowulf. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like the behold and her mighty men are taken like it just it, sure. it's like a long epic right and i expect this long chapter about i'm coming i'm coming to get you the men they're strong they're strong men the strong men are strong and they're gonna die and i'm coming yeah like that kind of repetitive chapter i would expect in a beowulf sure not in chapter 51 of jeremiah <laughs> <laughs> that it hasn't been like up until now Right. So right, this yeah. is weird. Yeah. Every one of the bows is broken for the Lord is the God of recompense. He will surely repay. Just to be clear, you're saying that it's repetitive, like over and over within the same, yeah. you know, sections, not even yes. as opposed to like, cause I mean, it's the messaging is something that's been repetitive throughout the right. whole Testament, but right. the way it's repetitive, the way this chapter is repetitive in itself. Right. I just wanted to clarify. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, you're fine. And I will make, Oh my God, it's still going. <laughs> and I will make drunk her princes and wise men, her governors, her deputies and her mighty men and her mighty Morphin power rangers, and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep and not awake, says the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. So again, he, again with the poisoning, yeah, or, poisoning whatever. or whatever. Yeah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken. Remember that time I already said that? Yeah. Still mean it. Right. And her high gates shall be burned with uh, fire. 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 You got it. Yep. The people will labor in vain and the nations because of the fire, and they shall be very weary. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm always weary when people are trying to kill my ass. Right. I, I don't know that I would be, I mean, why would you be laboring when there's fire? Unless you're laboring to put out the fire. That's what I think they mean. Okay. okay. Yeah. But that would be hard to do when you're in a, a place where there's no water, except for that there's lots of water. So, right. I mean, I'm not sure which one of it is. Because it's dry and like, wet and dry and yeah. wet. But apparently they're probably... Not a lot of water there since right. they're tr struggling to put out the fire. Right. So. And it's in the This time, of, right now. Yeah. No water. The word which Jeremiah the prophet commanded Sariah, the son of Neriah, the son of Messiah, when he went with Zedekiah, the king of Judah, <laughs> to Babylon in the fourth year of his reign. <sighs> this should be a separate chapter. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. And Sariah was the quartermaster. So Jeremiah wrote in a book all the evil that would come upon Babylon, all these words that are written against Babylon. And Jeremiah said to Sariah, when you arrive in Babylon and see it and read all these words, then you shall say, oh, Lord, you have spoken against this place to cut it off so that none shall remain in it, neither man nor beast, but it shall be desolate forever. Now it shall be, when you have finished reading this book, that you shall tie a stone to it and throw it out into the Euphrates. Mm. Then you shall say, Thus Babylon shall sink and not rise from the catastrophe that I will bring upon her, and they shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Jeremiah. This sounds the like end. he's... So, like, okay. Zedekiah was taken to Babylon, right? Remember, like, he was one of the... Wasn't he one of the ones that was taken yes. as a captive or whatever? Yes. And then... They put his eyes out right, 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 after right. they killed his kids so in front of him. So, apparently, um, Jeremiah sent him with these words to read... I have no idea. Okay. Well, I don't. I mean, but. No, Sariah. Oh, Sariah. Jeremiah said that shit to Sariah. Okay. So I'm assuming that this was, Sariah was one of the captives that got taken to Babylon. Sure. But remember how he was communicating with them and whatever, yeah. what have you? Yeah. This whole thing sounds like a spell. Yeah. Does it not? It does. Like the, you're going to read the words out loud and then you're going to take a stone and wrap it around the words and throw it into the bottom of the Euphrates. Yeah. Like it sounds like a fucking it's curse a, slash spell. It's a magic spell. There's goddamn spells in the Bible. This is a magic spell. It's a magic spell. It's a curse. The fuck is this shit? This is a curse. Oh. This is just... And they had to, re that's why it's so weirdly written and repetitive. You are 100% right. <laughs> and I hate myself for not realizing it. I was so close when I was like, this chapter is weird. Right. It yeah. keeps, it's saying shit that it, it's not normal. Yeah. That's why it was, it was a it's curse. a curse. Yeah. They were writing down a curse for Jeremiah 
Jeremiah was writing down this curse for this kid, Sariah, to go take up there and to throw into there, the river. There are literal magic spells in the fucking Bible. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Well, but now that I have this, I have a list of people that I need to go copy this. <laughs> and I wonder if it has to be the Euphrates or can I throw it in the Ohio River? <laughs> what do you think? I, I, think, not, I think that it's not going to work. I'm not That's asking for whole cities to go down. <laughs> right, yeah. Just like certain individuals. Also, I mean, if we're counting on God to do this for us, even if God were real, I don't think we'd be in his best, you know, um, grace uh, for having this happen. So uh, well, maybe you just have to believe it real hard. They're though, doing know? a magic spell. I don't <laughs> think that I think that they're not talking about the same God that they were talking about earlier. I mean, they are invoking God mm -hmm. in, in the spell. Yeah. It's just, this feels more like, um, Kabbalist as, or it was a Kab Kabbalist. Kabbalist. Yeah. Um, as opposed to like, yeah, you know, the other shit we've been reading. So yeah. like, this is very, um, Spellish. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Like I like I want I want to rewrite this though and fill in the blank with like the names of certain people and then like <laughs> sing it and like record it and then you know throw it in the Ohio River uh -huh. and then you know a year from then go back and be like, so here's what happened. <laughs> why why don't we I mean the Great Miami's closer, we should just throw it in the Great Miami. Is the well, I was thinking that the Ohio River isn't it bigger than the Great Miami? Yeah, but that it's further drive. You know, we just the Great Miami is, you know, I, well, basically down the street, you know. I know, it's just I was thinking like because it's the name of the state that it would have more weight and bearing. You think? Yeah, you think? that this Because the name of this the, the name of the, the river matters. Well, okay, they were going with the Euphrates. It's That's true. a big end. It's true. They didn't go with no local stream. You're right, you're right. I mean, if that's the case, maybe honestly, we should go to the Mississippi. I was going to say, we, honestly, we should really go to the Mississippi for this. Think, yeah. Yeah. That would make it work better? Sure. Okay. No. <laughs> but it'd be fun, though. It'd be fun. Wrap a stone with it. That should be, like, our first, like, uh Our first um, actual... Event. We should, like, yeah. do, like, a wrap a stone, you know. Oh, we should do spells to, um, to you know, get rid of all the influence of, of religious nutbags. Yeah. And we should all wrap a stone around our scrolls that we write. That's mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. the things that we want to happen. Yeah. And then we should all go to the Mississippi River and just, you know, chuck it. chant some things. And yeah. then we'll just chuck them in the bottom of the river. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a great event. Please don't let Trump win again. Right. Chuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we got it. We got to like sing all this stuff. I think. Right. That's the that's the best way. Right. Everybody knows that magic spells only work if you sing them. Is that okay? And the fact that they didn't include those instructions in this right. tells You're me that a little disappointed. Well, I think that they they already knew it. Oh, it was so common. Okay, that they didn't have to say it. They Got just it. knew it. I see. Okay, I'm very excited about this plan. I, I'm really excited to plan our first stone scroll event. Yeah, you know, like, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I think that's the thing that we should do. I'm very excited about this plan. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, I agree. um, you put that together. <laughs> I, wonder, I, think, I think we need to put it down as an idea for later on. Yeah. Um, and then something that we'll plan eventually. I wonder if we should get, like, special stones or special scrolls. Like, you, you, it feels like... We should order some papyrus, you know? Like, you gotta oh, my write gosh. It, like, and then we'll have, like, fill in the blank so right. that anybody that shows up, they can just write whatever name or event that they want in the yeah. blanks. Sure. As they sing it with us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We could even, we could have AI write our songs for us. Oh my gosh! You know that would be, be amazing. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, there you go. I love this. I am loving this. <laughs> it's ridiculous and silly, and that's why I love it because it's so fucking stupid. Right. It's yeah. so fucking stupid. You fucking stupid Bible. You have a magic spell, a curse in your goddamn weeping prophet. Mo one of your most popular fucking books in the bible yeah and there's a magic spell get the fuck out of here with this shit right all right i'm done yeah all right well that was jeremiah chapter 51 sure as fuck was <laughs> which means <laughs> that we will be back tomorrow with jeremiah chapter 52 and that will be the end of jeremiah for realsies Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! all right we'll see you then guys bye Hey wife, I guess that's the end? 
but husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Ooh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye.